How's it going everyone? Hopefully doing well. Last week we did get the Black Prince, as you can see here. And uh, this is still the same day for me. And we do have the boosters still running. So I thought I might as well go and make the extra video. Um, and at least then I can hopefully get it all uploaded and rendered and stuff like that. So that it's on time for about 6pm UK time. 5 or 6, whatever time I decide to upload that. Anyway, let's get into our first game. Okay, we're going to go to the left because I'm not going to the right. Oh, look at the dispersion. Beautiful. And uh, I'll see you in about 20 minutes once I get there. It is free artillery though. I love RT. It's very good. Please give me good RNG now. Okay. I have reached the left-hand side of the map. We have lost the right-hand side of the map. I've also realised that I really need the engine in this thing. <laughs> oh, there is someone there. Hello, friend. I have no idea what you are, but... Ah. What a lovely class. Well, I guess we just sit here doing nothing for a little bit. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I can fight him, though. Are you still here? You are. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Oh, it's so cool. Man, free RT really is just so fun. Yes. Does 100 damage to HE, knocks out my loader. Okay, thank you. Well, this is going to be a bit boring because there's nothing... Man! I'm literally behind a hill. Premium HE? Ah, that means the uh, thingy one. I see. The one that doesn't do uh, stun. I mean, maybe I can go up here. And then I can farm like the E25 or something. I don't know. Well, I, I guess I just ignore that. And then I go over this side to try and get some damage done. I mean, this is still completely winnable. So. It's not over just yet. At least we can get our loader back. Um, let's go down to the right. Because I want to try and kill this T-3485M. If we can. Come on. I mean, sure. Yeah, let's push him. I'll try and help out this Hellcat as much as I can. I mean, I am very slow, but I'll try and help him out and track this guy. Oh, I hate Arty. I hate Arty. Actual disgusting class. Should not be free artillery in a game. Okay. Oh, please, man. How is it doing 300 damage? I don't care. Honestly, it, uh, they only target me. Most of my damage that I've received is just from RT. I mean, hopefully we can win this. Like, as long as I don't play like a complete idiot, then we should be able to win this. And then I'm going to times it, and that should give us the engine. I hope. I really hope, actually. Okay. 
Missed that. What? Okay then. I mean, of course. Yeah, no, no. That would, uh, that would uh, bounce. Well, hopefully, our team can go and kill the artillery, as we've discovered their nest over there. How can anyone say that artillery is balanced? Seriously. When it does 300 from the other side of the map to a heavy tank. Most broken class in the game. Most overpowered class in the game as well. Uh, slowly I'll get around to helping you, Jackson. I'm so sorry, man. Like, I'm trying. There we go. Don't mess this up, please. Panther, don't mess it up. Don't somehow die to the artillery because I probably end up dying to the artillery myself. There we go. Just apply the times three and move on. And we can apply that so we get a nice 7,000. Beautiful. Yes, yes. Research. I don't know why I struggled to say that, but there we go. Does this even give me much more range? It gives me a little bit, but... I'd rather just save up and get the better gun, to be honest. And we now have the engine, at least. So we now have a nice 13 power to weight, nearly, which is good. Um, much better than the Churchill 7 was. The Churchill 7 had 9. Which, to put that into perspective, a T95, yeah, you know, the big fat turtle thing, yeah, has more. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, we're on Corellia now. Oh, I can instantly notice the speed difference. I'm not joking. That's so much faster to get up to speed. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't actually look at what the power to weight was um, beforehand with the uh, stock engine. But I'm guessing it was quite bad because this is night and day the difference. Like we were not even getting up to top speed uh, beforehand. And now we're straight up to 24 pretty much instantly. Which, again, is not fast, but better than the Churchill 7. Okay. I'm going to try and side scrape on this corner. And we'll see how this goes. By the way, for those of you that don't know, this bush here actually acts as camo. Like, between you and the enemy. So, if you go far enough out... I'm sorry. If you go far enough out you'll actually be able to spot them, and then you can go through back here. And vice versa, if you go forwards enough, you'll be able to spot them. We didn't penetrate their armor. Uh, like you can see, I didn't even get spotted for uh, shooting that. Can we see if anyone's at the back here? Doesn't look like it, to be honest. Uh, I kind of want to play a bit more aggressively, but it is a tier 8 game, so... Yeah, probably won't end very well for me. Okay, well, let's... Hello. He has, like, his negative view range, apparently. Obviously, a Scorpion G at the back. But we are now into a position where we can actually help out our team a little bit. Hopefully. Maybe this guy will go backwards? But he'll just forget about the about me. Oh, the Leo actually died. That's not the best. We didn't even scratch them. This guy will actually struggle to pen me. Um, if he's using standard rounds. <laughs> Hopefully the ST2... Nice. ST2 does finish him off. And even the reverse speed on this is so much nicer. So much nicer to play with. Uh, do we get a shot on this at 45 TP? I'm trying 
try and track this guy. Just ignore that, okay? See, look. The Black Prince, a true master of the armor. Yep. Ten times better than a Churchill 7. See? It has armor. It's amazing what you can do when a tank actually has armor. I mean, that one, not so great, but... Where did he even pen? No, oh, just straight through the side. I mean, okay, it doesn't have a load of armor, but... As enough. Excuse me? Of course the radio man is down. Yep, and apparently I can't hit him at all. <laughs> yes, thank you, gun. Yeah, whatever, that was a bad shot. Okay. Well, nah, this guy's going to shoot me. I need to try and keep an eye on this Type 64, but also, you know, this guy as well. Oh, uh, just the Type 64 I need to worry about. There we go. Now I can deal with this guy. I don't know if the... No, the Powerlack tank is not coming this way at the moment. Although there is a KV-2. Which is a bit worrying. Now, where's the Scorpion G? I'm not too worried about the radio operator, to be honest. Hmm, we didn't get spotted for that. Um, we're actually down on health, which is not good. Unless I just haven't seen, like, our health comparison to theirs. Let's go to T56. It's going to be a problem in our base. Okay, you know what? We're pushing. Try and just wiggle, because then, you know, maybe we get a lucky bounce off the Scorpion. Scorpion's not there, though. Yeah, the Scorpion's back in their base. Okay, well, we'll go up the hill then in that case. Um... Hopefully my team can deal with the Skoda 56 I don't know what health he's on. Um, I don't think that we'll be able to get a shot on him from here. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be one, unfortunately. Nothing that I can really do to change this. I don't think there's an angle here. It might be here. There is. I'm going to die to all the other TDs at the back of the map, unfortunately. Hmm. Try and get out of here while I still can. There's two people in the cap, but I mean, what am I meant to do? Can't do everything, unfortunately. I'm not that fast. Well, let's just see if we can spot someone and get a little bit more damage out of this before the game's over. Let's go to 56, shot him. Yeah. One more shot of damage. Not bad. Not great, but there you go.
<laughs> no. I mean, even then, we still gained 2.3k XP. That's more than good enough for a loss. Uh, yeah, we only lost 16k. Not bad. What is this? I don't care. So we now have 8k XP. Uh, hopefully we can get one more good win, and then that should give us the top gun, which is going to be quite nice for us. And then you just start the long grind to the Carnarvon. I don't think I will bother at all with this, as I've already said. All right. Third and final game. Okay, Ents, which isn't bad, um, especially for heavy tanks and stuff. Uh, there is two RT, but again, that's not really too bad on Ents, usually. Um, hopefully we can kind of avoid it. We are going to go to the window to start things off with. Hopefully we're fast enough to do that. Um, we should be able to get maybe one shot or two shots off on people that are crossing early on. Really? Like, and just go... Go around. Ugh. Okay. Well, no, I'm not doing that then, am I? Nice. At least we can get one shot into there, though. Let's try and use this to our advantage. We are top tier, which is really good for us. And I want to try and cross this if I can, because... We do that. I've spotted a load of things. Good. Great. Like, can we try and deal with that guy, please? Like, team? One tracking shot. Don't get the second one, unfortunately. I'm going to try and peek this. One tracking shot. Beautiful. This guy's now perma-tracked, and we can kill him. Absolutely beautiful, that is. He fires once. One tracking shots. See? Just track away. That's all you need to do. Don't quite get a shot off there, unfortunately. But we can continue shooting these. Mm, loads of assist. Well, I say loads of assist. It's 300 assistants and the game's already over. But, you know, we gained 1.3k damage. That was a stupidly fast game. Like, that was over within two minutes. Wow. The entire enemy team was dead in two minutes. Oh, we can apply it, though. And that gives us a little bit more XP. And that is enough to get the gun. Still 38 pen on the HE rounds though, so they're just completely useless. Um, and it doesn't get that much ammo now. I mean, maybe we do something like that. I don't know. We'll just see how that goes. But yeah, that's been a pretty decent session, I would say. You know, we got pretty, uh, pretty nice damage overall. 66% win rate. Like, it's a massive difference from the Churchill 7. It really is. Like, it, the difference is so big in comparison. I mean, obviously against tier 9s, this thing is going to be completely useless, right? But that's just how it is, because you're bottom tier. Um, you're completely useless no matter what you're in, even if you're in a tier 8 that is super, super strong, like the Carnarvon. Um, if you meet tier 10s, you're going to be completely useless. It's just how it is, because it's not balanced at all. Um, but... For its own tier, and even for tier 8s, this thing's not bad. Just side scrape, and you can do pretty well in it. As I said, I've, I think I said it in one of the other videos in previous episodes. You need about 250 to go through here. Or a bit more than, maybe a bit less than that. Maybe like 220 uh, to actually go through this uh, turret. Um, unless you hit the cupola. And it doesn't have 
the exact same issue with where it can get penned through the track, but it can still do it if it's like head on. But if it's angled a little bit, then it's very, very small area that it can actually happen. But yeah, I don't mind this tank, genuinely. Like the Churchill 7 is just awful in comparison to this. And it's it's probably one of the worst tanks in the game, actually, the Churchill 7. I hate this thing. And it's disgusting that, that something like this is in tier 6 because it is just awful. And I can see why so many people just quit the game if they got to this tier and they were just thinking, well, what's the point? Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, then you know what to do. And uh, I'll see you all on Friday for the next episode of The Grind.